Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Rickman, and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Series. So, in the last episode, we were able to craft ourselves some nice iron armor, we went mining, like we had a nice, good, productive day. We actually have two more iron ingots in here we haven't yet used, and so things are looking up for us, like a lot. Now, what I want to do though, is I want to make the whole caving system a little bit easier for me. So what I'm going to do to accomplish that is I'm going to try to connect my house to the caves. So I'm going to go ahead and just work on kind of digging out this way. I know that it's nighttime right now, and I know that somewhere vaguely off in this direction is where the cave was. So I figure if I keep digging this way just a little bit, I should eventually come across it. So I'm going to dig out this tunnel just a little bit, and hopefully I end up in the right spot. Hey, there we go. All right, well, that took a little while, a little bit longer than I was hoping. I got a little bit lost, if I might be honest. Let's close that up while it's still dark out. Um, so we have a bit of an ugly tunnel. I was, hope, I was thinking, oh, this tunnel will be nice. It'll be straight. It'll take us right there. Um, but as you can see, one, I started digging completely the wrong direction. Um, and it's a little bit windy and not altogether very pretty. So we'll definitely we'll definitely want to revisit this maybe once we've started building out a little bit more. But for now, we'll just work with what we've got and jump right into the cave system. Now, while I was digging, I also encountered some andesite. And then I noticed over here as well that we have some coal, right? So coal will be useful because we'll want to continue getting this um, to make torches, especially as we encounter more caves. We really want to make sure we have as much coal as possible so that we can light up our way. Um, that'll help us not only to know where we've been, but also prevent monsters from spawning in around us. So I'm actually not going to get... I know I'm saying I want as much as I want, but I might just see... I don't want to get too much here. I don't want to end up filling up my entire inventory of coal. All right, there we go. That's not too bad. All right, we still, we still only have 35 coal, 33 coal. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump back into that cave now. And let's see if we can find something. Now, as I've mentioned, the objective with caves is that... I'm kind of bonking our heads here. Um, the objective with going through these caves is just acquiring resources, specifically acquiring coal and iron. Now, I know that path was the one that led us back up to the surface, so there's not a whole lot to get us there, and I'd rather leave this alone. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start mining out this coal here. Uh, well, actually, I'll just go ahead. Let's keep exploring. We'll make it a little more explored. Oop, there we go. Now we've got some monsters right there waiting for us. That's a creeper. So that green one is a creeper. Oh, there it goes. So see, he exploded and actually ended up helping to kill that skeleton for us. So that's good. That helps quite a bit. Thank you, Mr. Creeper. All right, and I'm in need of some more torches here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Used up all my sticks. That's okay. Ooh, hold up. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Oh, so some sort of vine that seems to emit some kind of light. I will definitely want to revisit this. I think that right now I just don't have the tools or resources to mine it. But, ooh, that's different too. Okay. So let's see what we have here. What's this block? Ah, so this is smooth basalt. I know what we have here. So what we have here, there we go, and this white stuff is known as calcite. So what I have happened across here is an amethyst geode. So these are something new that spawned in Minecraft 1.17. And they are basically... Well, ooh, you hear that tinkling sound. So amethyst makes some pretty sounds there. And so amethyst is a new material. I don't actually really know what it's used for. Well, we will learn this together. Um, but what, it just kind of is a very pretty new thing, and it spawns, if I can get down here, without falling to my, plummeting to my demise, here we go, 
is it spawns in like this geode. So notice it kind of forms this almost like circular, like spherical shape, right? And so these always, as I understand it, these always break up into cave systems. So they're not going to just appear in the middle of nowhere, right? This one kind of broke open into this little caving spot. No fun. I guess I didn't actually get anything from that. I'll, I'll have to be careful. But we're picking up blocks of amethyst, which again, I don't actually know what they're used for, but this is very cool. I'm very glad I found this. I'm sure it will be very useful in the late game, whether it's for decorative blocks or just if it has some other purpose. We'll see. But uh, regardless, I am very happy with this little find. That's that's fun. And I can see some iron over there. <laughs> so we can see where I kind of broke through a little bit. Oh, but I can hear the sounds of a zombie. I'm going to go ahead and just work on... Mine is iron. It might be there's a zombie back over here. Ah, yes. Yeah, so it broke, happened to just kind of cut a path, cut through the path of this uh, cave here. Let's go see. Ooh, and here we have some more resources. Look at that. So this is also another resource that is new to Minecraft called copper. So copper spawns very commonly the higher up in elevation you are. I'm going to dig out this little deposit here. Oops. There we go. Slap a torch there just for safekeeping. And now what... Now notice raw copper, right? It's a lot like iron where you will... I'll have to go to my furnace and smelt it in order to actually make it usable at all. Um, but in any case, I'm just going to be going ahead. I'm going to mine this out this iron. And we're going to see what else we can find. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, wow, we are just hitting the jackpot on luck today. Um, so what we just found is a dungeon. And I'm actually going to move away from here just so the zombie's not interrupting me while I'm talking. Um, so what a dungeon is. So you notice that there's like that cobblestone there. As well as a sort of, you might have seen there's a little block that would have look like a cage of sorts, and then that zombie appeared. So what a dungeon is, dungeons are randomly generated, um, the sort of locations, I suppose, structures that uh, include a spawner. Um, so an, an, a block that will automatically spawn some kind of mob, whether it's a monster or not. Um, and usually has chests in there with some loot. Uh, now, this one is clearly, clearly a zombie spawner, right? You saw that zombie show up. Yep, there he is. Hello. Hello, sir. And so let me see if I can get a good look. Let's see. Oh, so we got the chest. All right, yep, it's definitely a zombie spawner. Now, spawners, monster spawners will not spawn anything if they're well lit. So if I can... Put some torches in here before it gets to spawn anything else. There we go. All right, look at that. So now we don't have to worry about the spawn. Spawn, you know, and you can see the little zombie icon right in there. Look at them. Look at them spinning there. Uh, and so we now that it's all nice and well lit, we don't have to worry about any monsters, any more zombies spawning in here at least. Um, but, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check. Ooh, look at all this. All right, so we got some pumpkin seeds. Those will be useful for uh, farming. We have some rotten flesh, which we already actually have from killing a zombie. Gunpowder, which is an item you will get if you kill a creeper. Some more bones. Some bread, which is a food item. Iron horse armor, which you can put on a horse uh, if we eventually get one as well as a name tag, which you can use to actually name um, different mobs and things. Oh, and this one has gold horse armor, some string. We have more bones here, which I'm going to put. More gunpowder, some more pumpkin seeds, some wheat, which actually you can use wheat to make bread and some other things. An enchantment book for Curse of Binding. That is... That is not useful. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to just go ahead... I, I'm just going to go ahead and toss that away. Um, eventually, so if you toss an item out like this, 
um, after, I believe it's five minutes, the item will despawn, meaning it'll just vanish. So I'll never be able to get that again. So if I leave it for five minutes, I'll never be able to get it again. And I'm just doing this so I can get the gold horse armor, and then I'm going to pick up this chest. So this is very useful. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to head back up to the top. Um, so that way, since our inventory is all full here, I'm going to go back up the top, kind of deposit these things, and we'll kind of work from there. Okay, so for this section, what I decided to do was I decided that rather than kind of cutting between different things, cutting out me, getting to the surface, or mining different materials, that instead I wanted to speed this up. That way I'm still showing you exactly what I'm doing, um, but I'm also not, it's, you know, not very boring or very slow paced, right? Um, the purpose of these videos is largely to be um, a tutorial, but also to try and be engaging and entertaining at the same time. And so obviously with these, you know, large sections where I'm mining things or just kind of putting resources away, I don't want to just leave it as is because that can get very boring and very um, dull very quickly. So I wanted to try something a little bit different and do a bit of a voiceover. Now, since I'm still very much new to this whole, you know, doing YouTube and Minecraft and kind of starting things off with this series and trying things a little different, I am more than willing to explore different avenues and try some different methods. So go ahead and just let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you prefer me to do this where I'm, you know, kind of zipping through sections, but then having a voiceover? Or do you prefer me just kind of to cut back and forth between the actual parts that are more engaging and kind of skip this whole voiceover type of thing? Um, so go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. And I'll let this sort of play out until we get towards the end. Okay, well, we had a bit of a productive time down there in the caves, as you probably watched. Now, ultimately, I ended up getting quite a bit of these copper ingots. So I've actually I've made another smelter to smelt that. So I can smelt both that and my iron both at once. So we'll have a good number of copper and iron. We got a pretty decent amount of coal as well. Uh, we ended up killing a creeper there. I think overall, we had a pretty darn good uh, time down in that cave. Unfortunately, it does look like that cave ends. So I think we've actually explored that cave to its entirety. So that is unfortunate, but you know what? That sometimes happens. Uh, one, well, sometimes you just got to work with what you got to work with. So in any case, I believe I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off there. If you like this video, please feel free to go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more of the Minecraft Survival series, go ahead and click subscribe. In any case, have a wonderful day, stay safe, and as always, don't get arrested. Bye!